Hey, my name's Tom Bean. We're here with the, uh, the Dark Shadows here, doing the second ever video podcast for the Dead of Winter Festival 2011. And now uh, we just watched a fantastic set supporting the Fireballs, and I'm just here to ask a few questions. How are you guys going? Uh, ah, okay. <laughs> yeah? Awesome. Yeah, the Fireballs are fantastic. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. So loud. Yes, I'm completely deaf. I'm going to judge the way what you guys are saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guys are Eddie Furious at the machine, cat machine. <laughs> He's insane. Anyone that can play like that, soon and swing and just groove and sing over the top of his playing is just insane. Oh, it's like a machine. Power. Very talented. So yeah, three times in a row, Dead of Winter, it, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the only band that's played every single Dead of Winter so far. Third time lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep bringing you guys back. I love how you guys. keep inviting us. <laughs> we keep saying yes. You know, we, have a, we have a damn good time, so why yeah. not? Yeah, absolutely. Every year it's bigger and better and like mm -hmm. something, a little surprise and bouncing <laughs> up to, you know. No, it's a great concept too. Mm. Yes. It's like, you know, we get to see some great bands and Know, discover some new There's so stuff much different stuff. around. There's no other festival like this in Australia. And, yes. Um, we're 100 percent supportive of, of like a festival that will go out there and actually look independent mm. underground bands that are a little different to the mainstream and um, you know you guys are really helping that scene and nurturing it and building it and getting exposure for it. So we totally respect that. So more than happy to be involved. Um, Yeah, but um, I we we the last time we played in Tokyo, we stopped over from our tour in Germany and um, and so only for thirty six hours. Yes, we like to you know, mm. experience things to the max and try and the tail end of the the Ash Cloud tour. Yeah, <laughs> the Ash tour. That's right. We yes. made we finally made it out of Europe. Didn't we? Yeah, it's following us around. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I was playing a Telecaster, um, the uh, Nao from uh, 13th Moon, which is an amazing um, Japanese death rock band. Um, they set up this really cool show for us in Tokyo, and um, yeah, he, he got me a really cool black like, telly, which was cool. Yeah. So yeah. it's, yeah, I don't know, it's different. Like, you're used to your guitar, and then you're like, whoa, well, it's close up here, oh. but it was fun. Yeah. So yeah, it was a cool show, actually, because it was one of the first times um, well, they were telling us after the show that in Tokyo and Japan that um, scenes are very segregated there. Mm. Like, whereas like if you're into death rock, you're into death rock, and if you're into psychobilly, you're into psychobilly. Mm. If you're into punk, you're into punk. And those sort of underground genres don't really cross over that mm. much. Um, and this show was like there was Thirteenth Moon, there was like a, a you know psychobilly bands, punk bands, and then us kind of in between. And it was the first time that they had a show like that in Tokyo, oh, right. which is kind of hard to believe, but that's what they were telling us. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, Dark Shadow is bringing all kinds of music together all around the world. Yeah. <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, you guys have had some pretty awesome supports over the past year or so. Supporting some pretty awesome bands. Like, I saw about a year and a half ago, I think, now, over in America, you did a show with, like, uh, Tiger Army and 45 yeah. Grave and stuff. Yeah, I was pretty <laughs> envious of that. I didn't show sure How was that? Amazing. Mm. That was pretty overwhelming, yeah. yeah. It was really fun the show. And um, one of their Halloween kind of specials. I do like yeah. every Halloween. Yeah. Like, like over four shows. days or something. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, we were really happy to be a part of that. It was, it was a really fun show and um, really cool people. And um, yeah, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, any other acts that have went to this year that you're looking forward to? Oh gosh, there's so many. Like, there yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah, feel like the, the Meanies and, and Snowdroppers that I'm really looking forward to. Yes, definitely. Oh, yeah. City yeah. Band? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Um, Kill Your Apprentice. Oh, yeah. 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 And, um, 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 yeah. And we want to see bands that we haven't seen before too, yeah. so we want to be surprised. There's a good mix there this year. And also yeah. bits of blues, bits of punk, bits yeah. of metal, it's really good sort of mix. That's, That's the best thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool about it. Lots of variety. Yeah, definitely. It's good to mix it up. Mm, yeah. So had we like um, Shed Fire, was that the first time you guys have played there last night? or? That's the first time we played at the revamp at the, the new, new Shed Fire. Fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah, prior yeah. to that Shed Fire. Yeah. Point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been to the new one yet. It's They're great. Pretty good. It's you know because yeah. we were, we were kind of a bit nervous that because um, we heard a lot of good things about mm. it, but you know like sometimes when um, you've got like a really cool venue, which Shed Fire has been mm. like we love that playing that place. Like we've been playing it since we've been first coming up to Queensland, and those guys have been so supportive, and we have total respect for that because there's not anywhere else like in yeah. this country to play a place like that. And um, yeah, so. They've managed to get a new venue, which is like bigger, better, and um, really cool. It's got, and they've managed to maintain the vibe yes. of Shed Five. So you know, and these people have like dedicated their whole lives to making this venue happen. And they're so passionate about music, and they're so supportive of it, and they're such cool people. And you know, we're so like we will always be supportive of people like that because this, you know, I was saying last night, there's nowhere in Australia to think that you can play. That is like Shed Fire, that has the same vibe, that you know, with people that really love music and really um, supporting and nurturing like underground independent music, you know, so it's just. Well, it's what's interesting about Shed Fire is that it's, uh, the, the business is the second priority. Totally. You know, with yeah. every other venue you ever go to, yeah. you know, the owners, they're all about, you know, the money and whatnot. Yeah, no, But with Shed Fire, you know, making the dollar is the second priority, the first priority yeah. is always the music. Yeah, totally. And that's, you know, like, their heart is in the right spot. And these people are like, you know, we're having this conversation last night about, there's like people that are, uh, you know, they've got their jobs and they do it because they're supposed to do it because society mm -hmm. tells you you should be working, you should get, you know, you get the house, the car, the kids, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And, you know, there, uh, there's people that are, you know, they do that and they like it, but there's other people that are doing it and they hate it. Yeah. You know, and then there's people that just take a chance and follow their dreams and their passion and what's in their heart. And, you know, the people that, sh that run Shed Fire, that's what they're doing. And yeah. they, you know, they love it. They are so passionate about it and they're enjoying life and they're living. It's like really living and, yeah. you know, and supporting music at the same time. So, yes, sure. check it out. Shed Five, Gold Coast. <laughs>
Well, it was uh, uh, it's all about all I've got. It was a uh, fantastic talk to you guys. Fantastic to see you as always. No it's always good to see you guys. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see you at the dead of winter.